Hello everybody, Hectix here, and welcome back to TXR Zero. Now in the last segment, we took care of the Yokohane section, as well as we finished half of the Wangan. So this episode, we're going to finish off the rest of the Wangan. So two team leaders, the boss of the area, and whether or not we get uh, Speed King to show up, I do not know. I'd assume he's going to show up soon, I really don't know, I don't remember. But uh, before we course in, I do want to go over one more thing. I did go online, and I actually copied the gear train settings from TXR3 for this exact Impress the GC8. So, I'm just going to quickly show my setup for that. This is what the gear ratios look like. I'm able to hit 200 with this, but it does take a little bit of time. I am actually able to hit 201, so just over 200, but even with that it's going to prove to be a, quite a bit of a struggle just to keep pace with everybody considering they do 210 at least, so we'll see how this goes, but uh, yeah, I'm going to go to our first opponent because it's going to be a green arrow when I course in, so I will see you there in a moment. Okay, so we've caught up to our first opponent, and what actually looks to be like our only opponent, considering the uh, rival after him, is a green arrow. So I give him a good bump, and it's Scotch. This guy has been proving to be a royal pain in the ass. This will probably be my fifth time having to uh, do this episode, just because of him. So, yeah, he's actually the reason why I fiddled so much with my gear settings just so I can see what I can do to keep up. He's got a better launch than me and he's got a higher top speed than I do. So yeah, I don't know what else I can do. I've tweaked the car to the point of I can't give any more and he just hit that truck. Thank god. <laughs> I think that just solidified my victory. However, as you can see in the bottom right on my speedometer, I am hitting 200. Now whether or not I can get that to bump to 201, like I've seen it do, I do not know. But there we go, we finally beat Scotch. That took way more attempts than it probably should have. So we're done with him, we can go back to the garage because there's nobody else here. I'm surprised, please tell me you gave me a part for my car. Nope. How difficult and how much of a pain in the ass he was, he should have. But anyway, that's done. So yet again, I will cut to the next rival because it's going to be another green arrow. So, see you in a moment. Okay, so we finally caught up to our next opponent. Took a little bit of time. It's right there. Bring it down. Oh, jeez. Lone monster and an R34. Oh dear. Well, I'm expecting him to be a pain in the ass, considering, well, Scotch was even a really big pain in the ass. So, considering he's got an upgrade, yeah, I'd assume this guy would be just as hard or even harder. There we go. And he's pretty much gone. Hopefully he has an accident, that would be great. Because I got barely any more to give if I can hit 200, but still. Doesn't look like I'm keeping pace. He's actually driving quite erratically. I don't know what's up with that. But even then, yeah. He's got some weird driving, but I don't think I'm going to be able to pass him here. Wait a minute. There we go. We got him, but we got a whole bar to take out. And if he really gives me a good bump, I'm going to lose all my SP. This is going to be very, very close. And I do mean very close. Here he comes now. I'd like to block him. 
but that's not gonna happen. Damn it. I was hoping he would hit the car. Shoot. Yeah, that's, uh, that's what I was expecting, so, you know, instead of racing him again, let's see who the other blue arrow is. Hopefully it's a, uh, unlimited member. Or, no, a true ride member. Large impact. There we go. Because I was going to say, we just raced an unlimited member, what am I saying? So, true ride. This should hopefully be a little bit easier. Just a little bit. Keep your pace better with this guy. There we go. Around him we go. Now let's see if we can hold on to this. And there's another blue arrow way at the top. So provided that blue arrow stays there, we might have an extra race on our hands. Now, I do want to quickly check my mirrors to see where he is. He's not even there anymore. Okay. So, I've got a uh, quicker top speed than he does, which is good. At least for the time being. That is, if he doesn't come rocketing down the highway and just blast past me, which has happened in the past. Some rivals have done that. Yep, yeah, there we go. That's another victory. No team leader yet. So let's see who this blue arrow is here. Hope I have the performance to beat whoever it is, because I am going to get a bit of uh, degradation very soon. Max energy. Can I even race you? I wasn't expecting a wanderer. Well, looks like I can. An Evo. Let's see how this goes. Oh, my Impreza is definitely quicker off the line. He did try to block me, so I think we actually might be able to beat him way wholeheartedly here. Yeah, I don't think he's going to be able to keep up. Yeah, he's out of this. He's definitely out of this. He can't hold a candle to me right now. So, that's another easy, easy victory. So we had one pain in the ass loss, and two victories. I'm good with that. Extra money, too, which is even better. So, let's move back to the garage. See if we get anything new. Probably not. Yeah, nothing. Thought so. So again... Another quick jump cut to the next event, or next rival, so see you in a moment. Okay, so we ended up missing a day, because nobody was showing up, there were all green arrows. So I decided to course in at a different spot really quick. So, Lone Monster again. Hopefully this goes a little bit better. But I'm not expecting it to go much better than it did before. Only way it'll get better is if he has a massive accident quite early on that I can capitalize. Now I do know, well, I don't know if starting here is going to be better or worse. Oh, there's the accident I wanted. He actually almost hit me anyway. Well, sometimes the speaking you will receive, but... It would be nice if that worked 100% of the time. So that's him done. Because he's not catching me up again. There we go. Now I do assume we're going to get the team leader now, am I right? Yes, indeed we are. And a Honda NSX, an NA1. This will be interesting. So it is unlimited in this game. Even though in TXR3 it's Neo Limited. So, got a couple of bumps here. He's got a better launch than me. Which, I did kind of figured he would. Considering my car's more geared towards top speed right now. More so than acceleration. Thank you for the bump. 
That does indeed help me a little bit. He's still there. He's just hanging around. I think he messed up. I think he did. I love how the uh, team leader ended up being easier than the other opponents in the, his own team. What are the odds of that? Killing Machine is his name. I actually like that name. Wouldn't mind having that. But there we go. So, do we get a boss now? Hey! I was right. Oh, uh, was it Red Flag? No, oh, Tail Gunner. What am I thinking? <laughs> red Flag. I just remember his thing being a Red Flag. See? Uh, tail gunner. This is not going to be easy. Yep. This is not going to be easy in the slightest. I don't know why you're breaking. You've pretty much handed me the lead. Don't know what his deal is with that. Oh, hello. I uh, was not expecting that. Um... Yeah, he gave me the lead just to take it back away from me pretty much instantly. Um, okay. This is not going to be an easy fight. But then again, it is a boss, what do you expect? Uh, whether or not I can catch him, I don't know. He's going to have to have an accent just like everybody else, but I don't think that's going to happen. I'm glad I didn't hit the divider. That was actually very good. <laughs> But yeah, it looks like we're about even here to dead heat. Yep, there we go. So, we'll give it another shot, just for the heck of it. And then uh, we'll go to the garage, and we'll try again. So, Tail Gunner. Actually, I think he's in a uh, Buzzbox RX-7 this time. Yes, indeed, he actually is. That's not an FC. So he did get a slight upgrade to TXR3 in terms of his RX-7, but uh, yeah, he's still difficult in this game. Although I do remember TXR3 him be- Wow! Good timing, buddy. Good timing. Well, that's this race done, so I'm just gonna chill here and let it end. There's no point I'm not gonna catch him. There we go. Get my seventy dollars. <laughs> totally worth it. I didn't want the uh, eleven thousand for winning. I wanted the seventy dollars instead. But anyway, let's move back to the garage. Shouldn't got anything new this time, right? Oh, we got a new car. Tell a lie. What did we get? There's the R another R thirty four. I still don't know what the uh, difference between this one and the other one is. I have no idea. But anyway. I'm going to jump cut here to when we get Tail Gunner to reappear, so be right back. Okay, so instead of getting Tail Gunner, we have uh, Strike Star here from Team True Ride. We haven't got their team leader yet. I don't know if this is the last member for their team, but we shall see. Also, my phone is about to die, considering I've been using my clock here. I did start with 30% of my battery left, and I've already killed half of that. My uh, battery is not, uh, not what it once was on my phone, considering it is, what, three years old at this point? So, yeah. So is this 300ZX going to keep up with me? Doesn't look like it. Yeah, doesn't look like it. So this is going to be an easy race. Nothing too demanding on the car. I can actually probably slow down a little bit here. Not burn my performance too much. There we go. Oh, team leader already. Good. It looks to be another Skyline. I do believe that's an R33, though. I do believe so. A plus driver. This is not going to be an easy race. You can hopefully stay there. Thank you. Thank you for the bump. That does help a little bit. Damn, I was hoping you would hit the truck. 
but it did give me a little bit of a gap for the time being. However, that's not going to last very long. Yeah, here he comes now. I think he messed up. I think I kind of forced him into uh, hitting a car there. Good. So that means this is an easy fight because he is another rival that's been giving me a bit of a hard time. I've only made it to him one other time, so I do remember how quick he is. So now I will go back to the garage and then we will deal with Tail Gunner. So I will be right back. Okay, so now we can get Tail Gunner. I have burned through a few days to try and give myself the best possible chance at beating him. So here we go again. Let's see if we can actually beat him this time. No, 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 dang it. I was hoping that uh, that would go better, but nope. That did not go as well as I thought it would. However, hopefully that doesn't go. Oh, he just had an accident. That's actually very, very good. However, I do believe he's going to catch up. At least he should. I don't think he's out of the running yet. I highly doubt it. I'm going to swing wide here. There we go. Okay, maybe he is out of the running. Holy crap. He had uh, just a large enough accident for me to capitalize. Nice. So that is a new part to the car, hopefully. And... Oh... Crap. But look who it is. Speed King. I was saying I was wondering when he was going to show up. Or as he's known in TXR3, Jinty. So let's see how this goes. We're probably not going to win this. You are pretty much supposed to be screwed here. He is a very difficult opponent. And it's very unlikely he's going to mess up. Yeah, he's just gone. Like, look at the mini-map already. Look how far ahead he is already. The race has only been going for 20 seconds, pretty much. Yeah. I remember him being a pain in the butt. And this is going to be one hell of a fight. So, I'm going to head back to the garage. I'm going to see what I can do to the car. If there is anything. And then I'm going to go over a very quick plan on how to beat him. But anyway, we did actually get a new part and some new cars. What did we get? Oh, right, we got his RX-7. It is an FC. With the weird headlights and whatever, it started to make me think it was the uh, Buzzbox version, but nope, it actually is an FC. Interesting. So we got his car, and I do believe that is a body upgrade. That is definitely going on the car. Oh no, it's an arrow. It's arrow. Interesting. Okay. So what new arrow parts do we got? Hopefully these are lighter. Indeed it is. Nice. Any new hoods? Nope. Mirrors? Probably not. Yeah. I think it's just bumpers. Over fender shouldn't be anything. Yeah. Side skirt should be lighter. Indeed it is. Now hopefully I don't get a stupid looking rear bumper. Okay, that's not too bad. That is not too bad, and I shave off nine more pounds. Nice, I'll take it. And the spoiler is probably gonna be heavier. No, we actually lose weight with the spoiler, finally. Definitely putting that on. There we go. I don't know if that's our last arrow upgrades. I do not know, I can't remember. Now, I do want to quickly go over my plan for him. So, pretty much what ends up happening now is I can race him as long as I race another rival and win. Because, as you know, they just reappear behind you. So, technically, I could go to an area where it's a lot of twisty roads and not a lot of straightaways, beat somebody, and have them show up behind me. Which is how I beat him originally. So, I'm actually going to go and course in to C1 Inner. I'm going to race somebody there, and then we'll actually challenge him and see if that goes any better. So, I will see you in a brief moment. Okay, maybe not. 
Well, we do have another upgrade. Oh, okay, so we have a blue arrow on the map. I don't know if it's a wanderer that we can actually race, considering we do have all C1 finished. Lonely Wolf. Can I race you? I do not know. I do not remember requirements. And indeed, it looks like we can. So we'll take care of him, and then we should get Jinty after that. Well, Speed King after that. Probably should just keep calling him Jinty, just because that's how I know his name. So hopefully this arrow is actually helpful. It has shaved off a few more pounds of weight. Especially that spoiler. My god, that spoiler saved a good chunk of weight. Now in the shop, the rear bumper did not look too weird, but I'm not gonna lie, it does look kind of weird here. I don't know what it is, my R32 had a very terrible looking rear end to it, and this Impreza is no different. Okay, so, Jinty, let's do this. Oh, okay, my plan is wrong. Unless I have to beat somebody else. Let us see. I'm gonna course back in, refresh the car, and we shall see how this goes. Okay. So now there's Jinty. So I have gone through quite a few days to try and get him at a decent point. He's proving to be, as you would expect, a massive handful. So yeah, he's been very good at not just blocking me, but shoving me into things and thus far. So hopefully now we can actually capitalize and actually run away a little bit, just a little bit. And to think, white charisma is even harder than this guy. <laughs> what does that tell you? Yeah, here he comes now. I knew I couldn't run away for very long. Oh, hello. You just hit the wall. Can I go around you here? That would be nice. Indeed I can. Hard on the brakes, down the gear. It's nice and smooth. And here he comes again. Thank you. Shove him into a truck. And yes, we got him. Nice. So we don't have to worry about him anymore. That is the first half of the game completely finished. So I do know we're going to get the quote unquote ending credits, but I'm going to skip over it. We'll be showing that at the end. So I will see you after those credits because I'm going to be cutting that out. So see you in a moment. Okay, so we had a slight cutscene there. I forgot about that little bit. So, yeah, we'll be skipping the credits that will show up at the end. But we did get new tires for that entire ordeal. I was kind of hoping for uh, some better engine and performance parts, but nope. We did get his car, though. Which, later on in the game, I will be buying. I should point that out. So, yeah, I will be buying this car. It's pretty much the best car in the game. So yeah, definitely gonna get that. So let's put on these new tire parts. Considering that's all we can do. So drivetrain, tires, brakes, and wheels. We'll keep the same rims. I don't think I need to change them. So there we go. So in the end, it's by the looks of it, just better braking. Because the tires don't increase, I'm guessing it's just uh, better brakes. But there we go, that's done. 
So that's going to wrap it up for this episode. So yeah, we're halfway through the game. We have another half to go. We've got the 12 Zodiacs, which does include White Charisma. And then after we're done that, we have the Wanderer's Guide and then the final, final boss. So with that, thank you very much for watching. I hope you all enjoy today's episode because this one was a pain in the ass to do. <laughs> so I will see you all in the next one. Have a good one. Bye.